Josh has always been big, but this is ridiculous. I've got to find a way out of here. <gasps> Dead end. No. No. Jimbo Josh. How could this have happened to you? Oh, man. I guess this is how it ends. Hey, Jumbo Josh, think fast! Nab Nab! Ah, Van Vanilla, you have to run while you still have the chance! Get out of here, now! Ah, yuck, toxic slime, that's disgusting! Oh no, I think I'm transforming! I'm turning into... Uh, uh, the mutant! This is not good. Whatever's infected Jumbo Josh is clearly spread to Nab Nab. Who knows how long before they're able to spread it to all the others? I've gotta go warn them. Hello? Anybody down here? Where is everyone today? Bambolina, there you are. Do you know where everyone else is? Can't seem to find anyone in this place lately. Slow Celine, you've got to listen to me. We need to get out of here now. Get out of here? Why? Is something going on? Oh, huh. What's that? Hey! No, Celine! Don't! It's a mutant. That's what I ran down here to warn you about. Get off me! And seriously, a mutant? Please, Bambolina, don't be so ridiculous. No, Slow Celine, please! I'm telling the truth! It's dangerous! There's no need to panic. I'm just going to take a closer look. Hello? Is anyone in there? Peekaboo! Uh, nab Nab! Don't scare me like that. What are you doing down here? Ah! Slow Celine, run for it! Come on, Slow Celine, hurry! I'm trying! Watch out! Huh? Nice try, you ugly cerulean starfish. You missed. Wait, what the? The floor is totally gone. You have to jump over it. Snails aren't exactly known for their leaping abilities, Bambolina. Ah! Ah! No! I don't want to be a mutant. No. No! Slow Celine, why didn't you just listen to me? I haven't been able to save anyone. And now I can't even find my other friends. Where are they? It's them. Maybe if I'm really quiet, they won't check in here. Oh, no. It's locked. Maybe nobody's in there. Let me have a look. There she is. Let's get her. from? Bam Bam? Come on, quickly. Where did you come from? What's going on around here? I was hiding in my office, minding my own business, when I heard you screaming through the walls. I figured I had to do something. Yeah, likely story. Then what's with the hazmat suit? Just a simple precaution, nothing to worry about. Are you okay? I guess so. Other than seeing all my friends be turned into hideous mutant freaks. What's happening to them? Why are they mutants? <sighs> it all started earlier today, in my operating room. I had just finished working on an experiment, and I needed help disposing of some excess toxic waste, so I called upon Jumbo Josh. I'm no pushover, mind you, but the barrel was much too heavy for me to lift. Fortunately, Josh was able to pick it up no problem. I guess there's a reason we call him Jumbo. But when he did, I realized I had made a crucial error. I hadn't fastened the lid on properly. He tripped on some of my lab equipment, and the toxic waste spilled all over him. It was horrible. I could see how much torturous pain he was going through. But at that point, there was nothing I could do to stop him from turning into a gigantic green mutant. I tried to get to my cabinet to administer my antitoxin, but by the time I found it, he was already gone. My lab completely decimated. And I suppose that's when he started coming after all of you. I pity all those he's already caught. Mutating is a nasty process. So what now? What's the plan? The plan is we fight our way back to my operating room. There I can load my antitoxin into this stun gun and turn everyone back to their old selves. 
And how am I supposed to help you do that? With these. Oh, heck yes. Now we're talking. No puking on me today, you nasty, gross giants. You ready? As real as I'll ever be. Hey, don't mention it. Now oh, come on! We need to reverse the mutations before it's too late! Whew, good work back there. That was a close one. Now I just need to find that antitoxin. Hey, Ben, man. Yeah? I thought you said Josh spilled the vat. Why isn't there a big puddle of ooze everywhere? Oh, I, uh, cleaned it up. Wait a minute. You said we and Jumbo Josh destroyed everything in here. Then why is everything so clean? Ban Ban, where'd you go? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that? Huh. I guess I must have lied. <gasps> no! <laughs> you can't stop me. I have you right where I want you. <laughs> you fool. Jumbo Josh never spilled the toxic waste. He didn't even come to my lab today. I was the one behind this all along. I wasn't lying when I said I needed to dispose of some toxic waste after finishing up one of my experiments. But what I didn't tell you was that my curiosity got the best of me. What would happen if I simply touched some of this sludge? Would it destroy me? Or maybe give me unbelievable powers? I only tried one arm at first, and I felt the power beginning to course through me. My arm was stronger than ever. That's when I knew I couldn't stop. I needed more. The waste turned me into this, and made me realize how weak you all are. That it was my job to fix you all. To make you all mutants just like me. I was now on a mission. Jumbo Josh was my first victim. He never saw it coming. And now that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. But first, say hello to your new family. <laughs> You're a monster, Ban Ban! A monster! That was true long before I became a mutant. Goodbye, Ben Bellina. It was nice knowing you. Wait, Ben Ben, please. Ah, no! What have you done? I'm already mutated, and now I'm mounting. Time to save my friends. Ben Bellina saved us. You saved me first, Nab Nab. Do you think we should save Ben Ben too? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs>